<laughs> All righty, welcome well, back. I'm, I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are at Lloyd Anthony's place. I've mentioned him, his name many a times on videos that I have when I'm talking about Dodges and that sort of stuff. Uh, I bought an intake from him a long, long, long time ago, probably 30 years ago. Like he said, I probably couldn't even afford it, but I still bought it. And he told me to take it and pay for it when you, when you can. And that's what happened. But uh, I was here and I seen his cars and uh, it took me back. I'd never seen anything like it before. He's thinned down the herd quite a bit. You have? Yeah, this place was actually fuller than it is now. But some of the cars are in here are quite, well, they're rare, you know. Um, the one Lloyd's leaning on, if I can get you to not lean on that, Lloyd. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, this is a, you, you might as well say, what is it, 60? 60 Edsel. A 60 Edsel. 200, 200 and how many? 295. 295 made. Um, that, that's quite something else, actually. That's a museum piece, really, for that many made. Mr. Edsel, or the young Edsel guy, the, the son that built these cars, um, he probably... Uh, somewhere one of 295. One of 295. Oh, you're more welcome. We're going to talk about you after. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise-o-matic transmission. 295 made. That's, that's rare. Mm -hmm. So this is, you can show them underneath the hood. It's quite uh, done quite well, is it not? Yeah. And the car is fantastic. Like the stainless is nice on it. The chrome is nice on it. Uh, I like a 60, but I do like this part. The 60 Ford had the stars on there, did it yeah, not? Yeah, it's just like a star liner. Yeah, the, the roof line. Yeah. I want to put this not against that. I'm just going to put that right there. Yeah, so the tail lights are different. To find something like that, if you ever broke one of those, you'd probably have to have it made through a, like a 3D printer or something, probably. I'm not sure. But. Ooh, I'm sticky here, Jeff. Mm. Yeah, this one right here is I was taken back when I first got my car. I got a 61. This is a 60. This is 61. Yep. 61. It's got the cross ram with the two fours on it. It's quite something else. Like who would ever think to make an intake like that? But that's what Chrysler and Dodge were doing. It's crazy. So this car here, this is a car that uh, I worked on for Lloyd, many, many, many years ago. Are you the man that painted it? Yep. So the man that painted it is right beside him. Um, it was kind of a, a co thing, I guess. So the car was rotisseried and done, a lot of it was done upside down that I can remember. I think it pretty well had to be yeah. to make it look yeah, the it way. Was yeah. Pretty much junk. You're not supposed to say stuff like oh. that. <laughs> Needed a lot of work. <laughs> so Lloyd had, how many cars? You had three or four cars like this? And then we took pieces and parts, yeah. three cars like yep. this, took pieces and parts and uh, put it together. I like the paint on it. I like the colors on it. Um, I do, I like the black and the, what, what's, this car, what's this color called, this one? Uh, it's like, like a copper and a black. It's got that cool Dodge feel, it really does. And we have another Edsel here, 58. 58, yeah. 58 Edsel, I like the roof on this one. Some of the roof on the Edsels had a bit of a chopped back on them, but this one's... Yeah, the this, big ones had the chopped back. Okay. That's, that's on a Ford frame and the big ones are on a Mercury. Okay. This has got a big block in it too, has it not? Yeah. Awesome. Actually, I think they all did. They all had a big block in them? Yeah. Edsel got the big, the big motors? Yeah. And this one over here is a, what year is this one? 61. 61. Who would ever think to make a fin, how they made their fins <laughs> on the back, you know? I really enjoy this one. This one, can I open the hood on this one? You sure can. That's a car person's problem. Is batteries? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just straighten that uh, yeah. breather up over there, Chad. It's just... Sure. Also, another cross ram on this one. Lloyd had a couple trucks, or you had one or two trucks with that on too, did you not? Yeah. And I, that's the truck I sold to my son, and he took it off. 
And he took it off. Yeah. Just the reason because it didn't work the way it should? No. He's got a 700 horsepower 440 he's going to put in it. Okay. I'm not sure if that's coming through. It's almost there. It must have something that goes down the middle there that puts yeah, that on. Yeah, it's got one of those. Like. But this is a cool car. This is, this is, to me, past cool. That is, that is quite a car. I like this roof on it. Uh, I like that right there and that right there. And I enjoy that fin. I enjoy that fin. It's quite something. You'd be hard pressed to find a car like that. There probably wouldn't, I don't know. Would there be another one of these in Nova Scotia? Uh, there's a four door. I that doesn't I don't, There's another two door hard top, no. It, same as this one. Is there another one this in, in Nova Scotia? There's not another one in Eastern Canada. So, I guess that's why a person seems to enjoy them. What about the 50, 59? Were there being... I don't know. Um, I'm thinking there might be. I'm not so sure. You see that red one on the wall behind you there, the picture of it? Yes. That's one I got from you. You, you ended up selling that, didn't you? I ended up selling it, yeah. I wish I didn't sell it, but it was at the point in time where I, I needed to sell. I sold it too. <laughs> it's, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. I enjoy these fins on the Dodge too. The middle short ones that come up like that, I enjoy them ones too. Lloyd has this purple truck inside, it's short wheelbase with a 440 in it. It's quite something else. And his that's son, all these cars you owned, obviously. Yeah, the truck, that little purple truck, that's one down in the garage. Yeah, it's one in the garage. It looks nicer than the picture. <laughs> <laughs> it does. We have a 58 Pontiac. This car's absolutely gorgeous. Is that a big block car? Yeah. 348, 348. in that? 348. 348. And that's an original thing, this yeah. car? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's only got 47 or something, 47,000 or something on it. Beautiful. I've had that car for 40 years. It says something about the car, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That one you were talking about. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> right on. That's him, Walton. Okay. I was asking Lloyd about that car, and he said, it's too expensive for you, he said. That's in Walton, and the one on the hoist, that's in Walton. The Monaco? Yeah. And then this. 79 is not in the picture, I don't think. Did you have a, is it, you have 57 No, I didn't have that one. That's okay. just one that I liked, so. It went up there. That and the Pontiac wagon both were just. Yeah. Yeah. A little Studebaker thrown in there. Studebaker was thrown in there too. Yeah. Another one of my favorite cars. I bid on one on uh, Hemmings auction, but I didn't get it. Is this for you when you were younger? No. <laughs> <laughs> no pieces. <laughs> There's a picture of one of those engines. Right. On the wall there. Right underneath the Budweiser sign? Right see underneath the Budweiser yeah. sign. Right underneath the Budweiser sign, you can see the engine. Yeah. I have one in my bed of the hell. It works good. It, yeah, it works good. Mine does. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an original one, but it's got a 440 with that on it. It starts good. It runs good. It, yeah. it really worked. It performed good. Really good. You can put those things on a, any Dodge big block. Yeah. yeah. And they're shorter ones too, is there not? There's a short ram, yeah. There's a short ram, and they act like a supercharged sort of deal? They're supposed to act they do, some, yeah. something That's like that. That's what they were supposed to do. Yeah. 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 How long have you owned this car here, Lloyd? That one? Yeah. 30 four, years, likely. Four bucket seats in it. She's the 300. I got a new interior for it. When Gary Goers... Uh, I don't know if I'd change it, just seeing where it's original like that. I don't think I'm going to either, but Looks Gary too, Goers was making those, reproducing those interiors. Yes. And he retired. So before he retired, I bought one from... I bought one of the last ones that he sold. My... my um, I guess I guess my likes are changing on cars all the time, you know. I, I always think of like the the ones that are restored, you know, they're the best. But in, in all actual fact, I'm liking the ones that are 
Not restored. Not restored. <laughs> and you know, I mean, they just you know, they, they're a little more truthful. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you dug into that, you would never know. I mean, looking at it, you would never know what's been done to that car. No. Like you do not know if it's you know if, it's if you know what I'm time. trying to say or no. I like it's it's. Do you want that back out of the way so you can dump that in there? Yeah, and whenever you get just you close this kit thing, do whatever you're doing. Well, I'll, I'll back it out. Uh, I'm just in time to help. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Do you want the hood? Oh, you get the hood down there. You get the hood, no problem. Want the hood down a little? Oh. I'll get it. You still got your 57? 57? Yeah. Yep. Chevy? And you also got a Thunderbird, have you not? The 57 Thunderbird, yeah. Oh, right on. That's his 57 Jeb in the picture there. Okay. He still got that. Yep. 57 Chevy. Yeah. A drawer is Chesterfield between women. Because the time the women go, they take the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other story, that one. Yeah, I know. I... <laughs> so he knows me as Chesterfield. Now I've got my own cousin. Yeah, I got a half dozen more cars. Half dozen? Yeah. So you got five or six, uh, six cars? Yeah. Six, yeah. What, what do you got? A 57 Chevy. 57 Thunderbird. 57 Thunderbird. 60. Skylight yeah. Convertible, 64 Pontiac Convertible, custom sports. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's quite a land yacht. All righty, what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna pause and I then we get to the next place. We'll flick the switch on. and turn her back on again. Lloyd's gonna be so gracious, take us yep, down, yep. show us his cars, take his time. It's Sunday, you, you know. People on, like to rest have to do and another one. Have, you know, take yeah. it easy on Sunday. <laughs> Me and Jolene are out for a little run just to check out cars and, I don't know what, and things I like that. See where a um, I really wanted to see the the Edsel. Anyway, Never ever yeah, seen one in person, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And any time I get a chance to look at Lloyd's cars, I go for it. And uh, he's going to take us down far as another spot, and um, we're going to look at some more cars. We'll flick the switch when we get back. All right, we're back at it. I don't recall you having this built. I don't think. I think I only went in that barn there, I think. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's been here for near 20 years. Okay. It's been a while, eh? Just go right in? Yep. Cool. Yeah, don't be shy around here. Don't be shy around here. This is the one that I that I'm that I I seem to like. That's badass. That's badass, I think. That's that's the one I've a I asked you about before, and I thought I thought you said you may have sold it, but no, you you did it. not. No. That's quite something but else. But say the car is really good. It's got a, in my opinion, a really poor paint job on it. But well, the stainless here, eh? Where would you ever get a piece like that? Yeah. Like wow. I've got the stainless skirts. I don't know where they are. In the, they might be in the trunk. I don't know where they are. And I've got the wheel disc, of course. This is a 60? 60. 60. Fury. Yeah. And it's got the square wheel, yeah. push button. Yeah. That's crazy. That's cool. And as I say, it's not the cross rim model, but it's the one next to it. This one run and drive? Yeah. This is the one that the guy did the brakes on that he did a poor job. But I I think it could still get brakes. Okay, so you haven't got any brakes on it right now? There's it's no brakes on it at all. But it's got brand new brakes on the front. Everything's brand new. Yeah. 
and on the back, I took them off and, and looked at them, and mm -hmm. they're not bad. So why it doesn't have brakes? New master cylinder, new everything. Something going on there. Something that means, going on. Yeah. We had a rough time yesterday. Nathan was doing the front brakes on the on Joanne's truck, and uh, or the race truck hauler, and the flex line was pinched off or plugged up or something. It's it's hard to find that stuff when you're not you know when you don't know. Yeah. And this is I didn't know you had this car here. This is '79. '79, and they only made it in the one year. And it's, it's a, just a Cordoba. Yeah, but it's a 300, 300 trim. And it's got that that was factory pinstripe. Factory. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. All all that's factory, the mirrors and everything. Yeah. And it's got the, the emblems under there and the three hundred emblem yeah. on there. And the three hundred emblem on the tail light. Is it a is it a factory paint like original paint? No, it's been repainted. Okay. Factory color. Yep. They only came in that color. That's the only color that came in. Right. It's got a 150 mile an hour speed on it. 360 in that would there be? 360. 79 had their fastest production year, did they not? 360? I don't, I don't know. On the uh, Little Red Express was supposed to be the fastest was it? production vehicle yeah. in uh, 79, so that would have the engine probably out of a... Yeah. Yeah, it'd be the same engine. Yes. And it's got the... The right wheels on it. wheels on it and everything. See, it's even got 300 on the wheels, so, or on the... Center cap. Wow. I like this bad boy. What kind of hubcaps will be on this bad boy from factory? Uh, I've got them. Jed, I'm not sure where. Were they, they at that building or the other place or the? Could have been there. I'm not sure where they are. There's a bunch of hubcaps there, but I'm just kind of thinking what kind of hubcap went on that. No, that's not on the list. I'm gonna go take a look at the other side. They're just hubcaps. Am I allowed to get down and look underneath this bad boy and look her over a little bit? You sure can. Hmm. Like I said, it has the hubcaps and the skirts. I don't know where, it's got the stainless skirts to match the trim there. How long have you owned this? 25 years likely. 25 years? Where'd this one come from? Alberta. Was it like this when you got it? Pretty much. Um, any amount of rust on this bad boy when you? Uh, not that I remember. I don't remember. There's no patches. I don't think there's any patches or anything. Oh, is that right? No. Is that good of a car? Yeah. Wow. This car, this car gets my mojo going. Yeah, she's a good dry old car, this thing. And that car, when I drove, I haven't drove, driven it for years, but when I drove it, that car was fast. Is that right? Mm. That must be factory. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's a cool old car. Joey, can you see yourself riding around this thing? Huh? <laughs> that thing's badass. There aren't too many cars nowadays got the look this thing has. No, there isn't. You know what I mean? With the cutouts in the front wheels and the way the headlights are and the fins and the stainless and not many cars look like this car. Oh, wow, that's nice. And I don't know where they are, the skirts and stuff. I'm sure I can find them. You, you wouldn't have given them away, I'm sure. I definitely didn't. <laughs> I know. They're, they're in perfect shape. Aren't yeah. They? And I think I've even got a spare one. Spare skirt. Yeah. And it's got, this is an option too, this trim in here. Yeah, I was. Oh, a lot of them didn't have that. I, I just, I enjoy uh, just how far they went with these cars, you know what I mean? The interior, three tone interior, like. Three tone anything is three times the that, work. That's brand new interior in that. Okay. Well. Brand new at I the time. It's brand new. I put it in it. Okay. Not yesterday. 25 years Plus ago. I got the Plymouth Crest. Don't, no, it wasn't 25 years ago either. Gotta like the square steering wheel. Yeah. And I see it's got a headlight ring missing, but I do have that somewhere. The dash that's in it. 
Can you pop the hood on this sucker? Maybe. What does happened? it does it does it have a hood release inside or no? But it might have another one there. Hmm. That might be the second one. So maybe I lied. Maybe I can't get in. Not on purpose. I would have thought that was it too. It is. They didn't pull hard enough. What do you got the, the breather and stuff off it there? Uh, that might be it or it might be one of the ones up the hose. The engine run good in this one? Yeah. Still got the generator. Yeah. Still got the bag for the thing. Yeah. Yeah. That is a four barrel, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, it is a four barrel, yeah. Yeah. A small one, but it's a four barrel. Yeah. Hmm. What's this one good in it? 383. This is 60? 60... 66. Bought that from the original owner. Nice. Little mouse trap. No, no mouse in there. <laughs> you, got <him. laughs> no. you got him. He going. Yeah. That's a nice car too, eh? That is a nice car. Yeah. So what got hooked, what hooked you on these on these Plymouths and Chryslers? Oh, when I was a kid, I had a 60 Ford, and I traded it for a 61 Dodge, and the 61 Dodge was the best car I ever had. And that's what hooked you? So I've been a Dodge gotcha, fan yeah. ever since. That's <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Ford, the 60 Ford was likely the worst year Ford ever made anyway. But mm -hmm. My first car was a 56 Chev, so. And you went to a, to a Ford, and then you went to a I, Chrysler. I was young and foolish, and I wrecked the 56 Chev. Yeah. So then I didn't have any money, so I had to buy a 60 Ford. And it was a terrible car, so I as I say, I traded it for a 61 Dodge, and the 61 Dodge was... You come ahead. It was a nice car. It, it was a really good car. And I traded the 60 do 61 Dodge for a 65 Dodge. It was a 65 Monaco two-door hardtop. It okay. Was, it was a really nice car. So I've had Dodges ever since. There you go. Usually, usually you buy what you what you had when you were younger. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? How does the door shut in this thing? You want to open that door and shut it for me? Shut good. I guess I'm going to have to talk to Jolene on the way home. <laughs> well, maybe it doesn't look like it, but I want more for that car than I do for this one. Um, I can understand. This one's got way more going on than that one. <laughs> yeah. And it's got way more going on than that one. Yeah. This one here is quite something else. Um, you're not robbing a bank with that car. They know who you are. Yeah. Um, with this one here, they might be mistaken. It could have been, oh, I'm not sure. It was burgundy, yeah. but... With that car there, it's more distinctive of what it is. That one over there came from Saskatchewan. Still got the Saskatchewan plate on it. Right. <laughs> what, um, what's the production numbers on this one? Don't know. We're going to figure that out. Cool. Never heard tell of a Pantera before, Skidoo. No. No. Pantera. That's a 88, I think it is. It's just like brand new. Hmm. What's the interior? Well, you got interior just out of another. For that 
61 Plymouth in the other building. <laughs> and sadly, I, I lost the keys to it, and a buddy of mine tore it apart. He couldn't get at it to, to put the, the new uh, cylinder in it. I bought a new cylinder for it. Okay. He took the seats and everything out of it because he couldn't, didn't have room to reach down under. I'll open the big door because this is kind of a, well, especially for Jolene. You Jolene's my queen. We might go the other way instead of going back at that way, like. Hmm. No. She went back. Oh, hang on to it. Look at that now, would you? Wow. That, I didn't know you had this one. Yep. That's a cross ram car. Wow. That one's nice, too. That's, that's, that's nice. I paid a lot of money for that car. I paid. There's something there all day. It's yours. Yeah. I like the roof on it. Yeah. The, the roof has got, it's got the, fantastic, the roof is. Fantastic. The roof on that, the side windows and everything will fit that 60. Man, I'll tell you, is this, it, the, some of the glass that I'm seeing, the glass must obviously fit the cars, but yeah. the glass is crazy. Yeah. You would never think like, piece of, quite a piece of glass. Yeah, it even looks like it's got nice paint, this car. Yeah. That was a nice car. That came from, I bought that in California. Wow. And there it sets. Looks like to me, like you get a little bit of oil on it, so it's yeah. on, on, the, on the chrome and stuff like that anyways. Uh, fluid film on. Yes. You and I put on them? No. WD-40. Yeah, okay. Like on hubcaps and stuff, it just yeah. seems to come off a little bit better, yeah. but uh, it does it does do quite the job. Yeah. And this is a Fury. 61. 61. Right. So that's a 60 over there. Yeah. This is 61. That's how much they changed them. Wow. The 60 is a way nicer looking car. And this is a, well, it's considering who you're talking to, you know, I mean, this, this has kind of got that look also. Yep. Yeah. But that's an original cross ram car. That's an original cross ram car. And the one way you can tell, and that's not a short way to tell because somebody could put different fenders. We haven't got a light. Yeah. But see, it's got the cutout in front of the fenders. Okay. The inner fender's got the cutouts. Inner fender for a cross ram got cutouts. Hmm. And it'd sort of be hard to duplicate that somewhat because you'd have to have all them holes for the screws. And yeah. So I bought the car as a cross rim car and, and Marty tried to tell me that it wasn't, that it was somebody made it into a cross rim car. So he took the numbers off it and got a guy in Maryland to run it. Yeah. And it is a cross rim car. Dad was right. And the decal on the trunk, that's another thing, but again, anybody could put that on there. But it's got a cross ram decal on the front, or on the trunk. Not a cross ram, but that, that is a decal that only, that went up, up on top there. Okay, that little ch ch yep. power? Yeah. Did not know that either. That, uh, only cross ram cars had that. So. It's quite a piece in there, isn't it? Yeah. I've got one of them off a car that some, some guy sold me. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. Do I know the guy? <laughs> yeah, I think you likely do. <laughs> <laughs> Was that decal on that 60 out there? Or 61 out there? It's not on it, it's home in my garage. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna go over here and take a look in the grass here too, if you don't mind. Go ahead. So you're through in here? 
Yeah, I'm fine. I'll just lock this door. Yeah, up sure. Here. That's awesome. When we did Lloyd's 59, uh, the two-tone black and and uh, copper one, this was the parts car that we used. Look at this thing. And I used to own this one. I sold that to Lloyd a long, long time ago. It's got the roof on it. Steering wheel's been changed. The roof had a little bit of going on in it. Somebody was trying to work their way out, not their way in. Wow. Stuff like this you don't generally get to see around Nova Scotia, you know, 60 Chryslers and Dodges and Furies and Plymouths and that. you don't get to see that stuff. Um, yeah, you could drive a long time and a long ways, you probably not get to see any of this stuff, especially you sitting in the grass. Uh, no doubt in my mind, um, if Jolene shows this video or not, there will be people calling. <laughs> no doubt in my mind. Yeah, pretty cool. Where'd you pick up this one? Buddy of mine had it. Picked it up for parts. Do you see that hole in the side of the 59 there? The hole in the side of her? Right here. Oh, yeah. You know who cut that? Probably me. <laughs> Dropped something in there. Had to get it out of there. I think we made the right choice. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, look at the floors and so on in that one. Yeah. I mean, the other one, the floors were gone, but... They weren't like that. But we knew what they were. They never were fixed, I don't think. They never, yeah, they, were they, they never were that fixed. That car yeah. had the original paint on it? Yeah. This car looked better, but... It, it didn't take long to show its true colors, did it? No. No. It's crazy how Plymouth come up, or Dodge, or whoever, Chrysler, come up with the fender fenders hooked all on as yeah. one piece. Yeah. Or in the center there. It looked, made it look like it was all one piece. Yeah. So that's not my firewood. That belongs to my buddy. Okay. He just... Uh, he looks after the joint. Uses my property. He, as I say, he mows, He lives right there. He mows the grass and everything. Well, he's doing a good job. Are we able to get a different way out instead of going across that? Uh, I think we can grade around his house if we have to. Okay. Jolene don't want me running up on the dirt no more, and I can't say as I blame her. No. Tear the front spoiler off, she'd be really be ugly. Well, when I come in there with my mini, I, I can't come through there. I come in through his yard. So. On the back, probably, I fixed no it problem. once and uh, it washed right out again. Did you want well, to close your other door? I should do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. We thank Lloyd for showing us around. Uh, I was going to come down here once before a while back. Uh, didn't make it, and today was the day. Me and Jolene are hanging out. I'm so happy that she hung out with me today. She's so precious to me that I um, want her to have a good day just like I did. But anyways, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. Like, share, comment. Come back tomorrow, and we'll be here.